Hi Leo. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, frog my throat. Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your How Does He or She Feel About Your Reading You, and I think it's Pisces are the last people to upload. Um, I think the people that watch me the, the least are uploaded the last sort of thing, that's just the way it is really. Um, at the moment, but anyway, I'm, I'm assuming that some that you aren't in any real rush to watch the videos. <laughs> You've got lots of tarot readers you can watch on YouTube. So, um, yeah, this is we did this reading back in uh, September, October, and what I like to do is I like to revisit certain spreads, and I love this spread so much because it's very nuanced. And what I find with the how does he she feel about me spread is that it gets into the nuance of the human brain because you can. Everybody, not everybody is the same. We're, you know, people are, you know, are multi um, faceted. So people are very different in different ways. You know, you can get somebody telling you one thing, but they're thinking another and doing another. It's, it just depends. So I'll be doing this reading for you guys right now. I want you to think about the person that you want to know about. Okay, Leo. Uh, what we're using for the reading is which is tarot. Uh, for the main reading, we're using the answer an Angel Answers by Doreen Virtue and the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue as your advice cards at the end and also Tarot to Go um, as the uh, lovely deck of cards. It's a small, it's the miniature Hanson Roberts deck that we're using for this. Uh, got this for five ninety nine on Amazon. It's a really good little bargain. You get a little book in there as well, like this, like explaining stuff. So it's just really cool. With a, It's just really cool. So we're using this for the clarifiers at the end. And what we're doing is, for those of you who haven't seen Seen this spread before we're doing um we're doing uh, a, a 10 card spread okay and we're focusing on how this person feels about you how you feel about them who they are their attributes their weaknesses the strengths in the relationship the weakness in the relationship the potential for a healthy relationship the overall analysis and the overall big obstacles facing you having a healthy relationship for some of you guys you can work through the obstacles for some of you you won't be able to but we're going to see what's coming up so you i want you to sit back relax leo and i want you to think about the person just picture them uh, their face in your mind think about who they are think about them as a person and i'm going to as you're doing that leo i'm going to start shuffling the cards and asking universe spirit how does this person that leo is thinking about feel about them how does this person that leo is thinking about feel about them how does this person that Leo is thinking about feel about them? How does this person that Leo is thinking about feel about them? In, in position one, I want you to show me who this person is. Position two, what are their attributes? So strengths. Uh, in position three, what are their weaknesses or flaws? In position four, how do they see Leo and how do they feel about Leo? In position five, how does Leo see them and how does Leo feel about them? In position six, what are the strengths in the relationship between Leo and this person? In position seven, what are the weaknesses of this relationship between Leo and this individual? In position eight, what is the uh, potential for a healthy relationship between Leo and this individual? In position nine, uh, can you give me the overall analysis, the universe, of what you see this relationship as and how you see it going? And position 10, what is the uh, what is the biggest obstacle facing them having a healthy relationship with this person? Show me. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to split the deck into three, like so. One, two, three. And please, guys, you know, there are reversals in this particular reading. And what I don't want people doing is coming back and saying, oh, there's reversals and blah, blah. Reversals are not bad. They really aren't bad. There's nothing wrong with freaking reversals. Nothing at all. They're good because they show the nuance in a reading and they will tell you, well, you know, if you get loads of reversals in a reading, it can say, well, there's a lot of work to be done or maybe the thing is a lost cause. Okay, it just depends. So you can start show with the, if you've got lots of reversals that maybe there's a lot more work that needs to be done on a situation. Maybe a situation is at the very beginning of a situation. Maybe there's nothing that can be done at all. Uh, if you get all uprights and just a few little reversals, it might say, well, things look good. Things things might might be alright. But remember, you get bad cards and good cards reversed and upright. So I don't know why people moan about reversals because devil reverse is better than a devil upright. You know, a ten of swords reverse is usually better than a ten of swords in the upright. You know, an Eight of Swords is definitely definitely better reverse than an Eight of Swords is in the upright. It really is, you know. So don't be afraid of reversals. They're good. Right, I'll shuffle the card. I'm turning it around this way because I'm laying the card so you see what I've shuffled. If I were to put the cards down this way, I'd be looking at what I've shuffled and you'd be seeing everything upside down. And this is your reading, so I want you to see the cards, okay? So this is who this person is. This is their attributes. This is the person's flaws. Um, 
this is how they see and feel about you. This is how you see and feel about them. Uh, this is the um, uh, this is the uh, strength of the relationship. This is the weakness. Uh, this area here is showing the potential for a healthy relationship. This is showing the overall analysis, and this is showing the um, the blocks to you guys having a healthy relationship. Now, already I can see there's a lot of reversals, but don't worry, please, do not worry, because what will happen is the you, I've done readings where it's been complete reversals, and it's been brilliant. It's turned out being really good. So please, please, please get it out of your head that reversals are bad. They're not bad. Um, who is this person right now? So they are the four of coins in reverse. See, the first card, and it's a brilliant card. It's a really good card. Four of coins in the reverse says, well, I let go. It says somebody's open. You get four of coins in the upright. This person can be clingy. They can be greedy. Uh, they can be selfish as an individual. Four of uh, so, uh, pentacles in the upright. They can be mean. In the reverse, this person shouldn't be greedy. They shouldn't be miserly. They shouldn't be mean. And they certainly. And they, this person is resistant to change when they're in their upright. So this person possibly right now is ready for change because they've taken down their guard. Four of coins in the upright. Remember, they're money cards. Yes. So this person might be in the reverse. They might not be so mean. They might not be so clingy. They they don't look like they're clingy because they've let down their guard. This is also the card that says somebody's trying to protect themselves. When it's in the reverse, this person's opening up. So I see that this person's opening up. It looks to me, uh, Leo, that this person's letting their guard down. What is the uh, attributes? What is the good things maybe about this person? Well, the three of coins in the reverse. So I think the good thing with this person, the attribute is when something isn't working, this person tends to take themselves out of it. Because three of coins in the reverse is to deactivate a partnership. When you get threes reversed, they represent deactivation. So because this card can represent partnership when it's in the upright, even though this card on the Witch's Tarot does, it doesn't look like three people, it's one person who's kind of working hard. And they're also, three of coins is all about mastering a skill. Okay, so in the reverse, you might have a long way to go in terms of what it is that you need to learn, what it is that you need to master with this card. This card also says, well, I don't need to be recognized. Because I'm going with the general meaning of this card now, not the picture. Often I'll go with either the picture or the general meaning. Or just into it, my own depend, you know, an, an amalgamation of the picture and the, and the general meaning. But I think that this person doesn't need recognition, and if I think they're okay with not being recognised, and they're okay with not uh, three of coins in the upright. When you could look at the Rider Waite deck, it's often somebody who's got, you know, they're they're being recognised by others, they're being watched by others, or they might be watching others. This is the card of somebody who's paying great deal of attention to something here. In the reverse, this tends to be that you take your eye off the ball, but it's an attribute of this person. So this person might not be so, uh, they might not be obsessive, they might not be so honed in on a certain area. They might be, they look like quite a freeing type of individual, because they're not locked on to whatever it is that this three of coins individual is locked on to here. It's reversed, and also they seem pretty open as an individual here. It might be with the three of coins in the reverse, but the good thing with this person, their attributes are, is that they're not looking to amalgamate themselves. If there's anything to do with third parties, they're probably not looking for a third party or they've not been in a third party situation. Could have been, but three of coins in the reverse often references like departing from friendships, letting go of certain people, that type of thing. So I think when something doesn't work for this person, they can quite easily let it go and step away. What are their flaws? Um, they might be a little bit lazy. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Uh, Eight of Wands in the reverse means that you put blockages up so you don't contact people or you're very slow to move or you show a certain uh, a lack of enthusiasm or a lack of energy. So this person looks like they might be a little bit... Um, a little bit uh, slow on the upkeep. They look like they've not got much energy with them with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. They look like they resist. They might resist change or resist movement. They might be reluctant to say how they feel with this Eight of Wands in the reverse because the Eight of Wands in the upright is all about throwing those arrows of love directly at someone and saying how you feel and, and speaking and communicating. It's a very fast-moving card. It shows a lot of active energy. This person might be... a less so this person their flaws might be they're not that active and especially if they're the type of person in their uh, attributes that doesn't like to be in the limelight three of coins can also be a card about somebody who's in the limelight so it might be that their attributes are they're not really happy being in the limelight or being out there or being so recognized by this that and the other and as a result of that their character traits are I mean, it's funny because this should really be in the upright in a way if they're like that but it's in the reverse they're showing us taking their guard down which is interesting We'll follow up on those cards anyway when we um, when we when we get the clarifiers. How do they see you and how do they feel about you? Well, they see you as the five of swords in the reverse, which is good. 
Another good card when it's reversed. These two cards are excellent reverse because the Five of Swords in the reverse talks about coming out of a conflict. So they see you as somebody who is... They might see you, Leo, as ready to compromise, as ready to forgive. Because the Five of Swords in the reverse, you can... With the Five of Swords reverse, you're coming out of conflict, you're coming out of an argument. The Five of Swords is the reverse is settling off a problem, settling off a difficult matter. Five of Swords reverse shows that when you are... Um, uh, uh, when you're gaining confidence. So this person might see you as starting to feel more confident. This person might see you as somebody who is now coming out of conflict with them. And they feel that they want to come out of conflict with you. Their feelings for you are the father's swords in the reverse. That they actually want to come out of conflict with you. What are you how do you see and feel about them? The two of swords in the reverse. So you might see them as somebody who's been very reticent to make a decision. Because the two of swords in the reverse. Some people actually. This is one of my most difficult cards to try and read on Leo. Because the two of swords in the reverse can either be where you're suppressing your feelings. You're really burying them down. Or it can be that you come to a firm decision. So you might just see them as coming to a firm decision. And you also might see them as somebody who's quite reticent. And who might suppress certain things. How do you feel about them? Again it's the same thing. I don't. You can't feel a firm decision on someone. So I'm just wondering if you've made... Well, I suppose you can. Some of you guys might have made up your mind about this individual with the two of swords in the reverse. Because in the upright, this is all about indecision. But again, this card can be, represent blocking people out when it's in the upright. But this can mean indecision. You might, in the upright, you'd probably feel indecisive. But in the reverse, it should be that you've come to light. So it might be that you guys have made a firm decision on this person. But it looks good because this person sees you as coming out of conflict with them. And they feel that they've come out of conflict with you. And it seems to me that you've made a firm decision here. It looks like, um, and actually, thinking about it, of course, yeah, Two of Swords in the Reverse is all about a truce. So I feel that you want a truce with this individual with that Two of Swords in the Reverse. And that's why this person's seeing you as coming out of conflict. Probably that's why this person's lowering their boundaries. It might be, though, that they say something to you, Leo, and it looks like it's in good faith so far on the reading. But it might be that they take time to follow things through with the Eight of Wands in the Reverse. Um... Let's have a look at what the strengths are in the relationship. Well, the four of wands in the reverse is the strengths. So maybe not being together is the four of wands in the reverse. Because four of wands in the reverse can often refer to a relationship that's ended, a separation. It represents that a venture that was started has not been successful. It represents instability in the home when you get a four of wands in the reverse. Okay, So I feel that whatever the um, situation has been between you and this individual, it's probably better. The strength in this relationship is possibly not not being in a relationship as such with this individual with the four of wands in the reverse because the weakness in this relationship for you guys is the three of wands in the reverse oh my god another three things the weakness is it looks to me because this person is showing us the eight of wands in the reverse in their weak spot this person takes time to deliver shit that's the eight of wands reverse this is delays this is delays in delivery delays in conversation delays in communication you're not doing stuff when you're an eight of wands in the reverse. You're being lazy or you're being reluctant. So I think because this person shows in their weak spot as being the eight of wands in the reverse and the weakness in the relationship is correlating to that because the three of wands in the reverse says, well, I'm waiting for something to happen, but it's not happening fast enough. So you, somebody might say, well, I've got this for you or I'm going to deliver this thing to you and it might never arrive. It's like ordering something online and your package never arrives with the three of wands reversed. So I feel that the weakness is, is that this person doesn't deliver. That's the only thing. I think that you guys are ready for a truce. And I think that this person is opening up. But I feel that this person doesn't deliver. And that's the weakness, which is why it's probably best. The strength is not to bank on with that four of wands in the reverse, a happy ever after. That's the strength. It's to know that you're not going to probably not going to get everything that you want. It's not going to turn out being the successful venture that you want. Because I reckon that this is the person that doesn't deliver. I think that they say stuff. And this is why you've got the truce. But I think when it comes to delivering it, it's a different matter altogether. Uh, what is the potential for a healthy relationship with this person? The hanged man is the potential for a healthy relationship. Well, it's difficult to read the hanged man as a healthy... I mean, look, we could say with the hanged man, the potential for a healthy relationship would be learning. Because the hanged man is a card that says, take a little bit of time out, think about the situation from a different perspective, and... The kind one is listen to what your intuition is telling you. Allow yourself to listen to what other people are telling you. Because this is the card of enlightenment. If you guys can take a step back, 
Think about the situation, thinking about the relationship. Yes, this is the card that represents limbo, and we'll see what the clarifies, whether it's saying that this is a no, because Hangman, there are certain cards, if you get yes or no cards in the tarot, Hangman would be a maybe card. The hangman probably wouldn't be a no, it would be maybe, because this card represents time of limbo before you get your yes or your no answer. Okay, so I think that really this is either saying, well, maybe, I think this is really saying, well, maybe after a certain period of time there could be if if one had learnt and one had, um, and one had, uh, I think this is really, what I'm, trying, what I'm trying to say is I think it's about learning in this relationship with that hanged man. Okay, I think that also with the hanged man, you could have a healthy relationship if somebody would sacrifice something here. Okay, if somebody would sacrifice something here. I could say, well, no, it's awkward, but I don't think it is. I've, I get from this card that the potential for a healthy relationship requires somebody to make a sacrifice. What is the overall analysis of this relationship, Leo? The chariot in the reverse. So the overall analysis is this relationship possibly isn't going anywhere because chariots reverse represent uh, standstills. Again, delays like the eight of wands. Movement cards that are in the reverse represent delays. This is a delayed energy. This is when you get the chariot in the reverse, the wheels are coming off. Okay, so whatever blockages you're trying to overcome, they're so, so difficult. You've got so many rocks in the road that you're not going to be able to steer those horses in the direction that you want them to go in. So basically, the metaphor with this card is all about somebody who's trying to steer themselves to victory. So they're trying to achieve a goal, but they've got a lot of obstacles that they need to overcome. The obstacles are the horses, because the horses are trying to pull this person one way or another. So this is when we talk about with the chariot, the opposing forces in ourselves, in a situation. And usually, if you get the chariot, in the upright it says well after a time of difficulty after a time of trying to get over an, uh, an, uh, an obstacle after a time of trying to rein in those problems with the two of uh, with the uh, chariot energy what it says is you will achieve your victory you're going to get there in the end but in the reverse it says well it's the situation is so difficult that what happens is is the chariot ends up going over it ends up turning on its head so what happens with this chariot then is that it's sort of if you any of you guys have seen gladiator uh with russell crowe when he's in the chariot and they're, you know, the chariots, the wheels are coming off and everything. That's it. The wheels have come off. So I think that the the analysis and the overall outcome is this relationship possibly, is, if it's not a complete standstill or dead end, what it's really saying is it's, you've got a huge tumultuous obstacle probably to overcome before you can achieve that, which might be, the things might take longer than you would like to, to get things where you want them to want to get them. Um, the... Obstacles. So the main obstacle to you guys achieving a healthy relationship is the nine of coins in the reverse. So I feel the nine of coins in the reverse. Nine of coins in the reverse can be money. So money with the nine of coins in the reverse is somebody who's got a gambling habit. Somebody who uses money that they've got for ill, you know, for, for things that aren't good. So investing in poor, uh, in poor ventures where they lose money. Nine of coins in the reverse can mean, well, I don't have any. Um, I don't have any privacy. I'm going to have. I'm having to live with my parents or my brothers or my sisters or with friends. I don't have the privacy. I don't have the independence. Nine of coins in the reverse can also say that somebody wants commitment. Somebody doesn't want to be on their own. So the obstacle might be, Leo, that one of you want doesn't want to be on their own. One of you doesn't want to feel on your own in the in the relationship, and the other one can't really. You know, the obstacle is one of you wants to be in a proper relationship. One of you probably doesn't want to be on your own with that nine of coins in the reverse. That's the obstacle, and. And it looks to me like this person is open to this because it looks to me on both sides there's been some form of a truce. But the problem is this person here is not delivering what they're saying. So what they've been telling you, uh, Leo, in this reading, what they've been telling you that's going to happen is not happening because this is the weakness. And the potential for a, hang for a, um, for a healthy relationship, well, the hanged man might now actually be saying, well... To be honest with you, things are a little bit up in the air, so there might not be any potential. It might be a while before you start to see things, because this person's saying, I'm open and I'm ready for a coins in the reverse. Is I'm open and I'm ready. Okay, I'm open and I'm ready. But the problem is this person doesn't deliver, and that's why the potential for a healthy relationship hangs in the balance, because this person is saying that they're ready and there's been a truce, but they're not deliver on, delivering on that energy showing there. Okay, which is why the strengths in your relationship are the four of wands in the reverse. Okay, now four of wands in the reverse is about an unstable foundation. Okay, that's what it is. It, it can be a moving card, but I don't know how I'll do explain that as a strength. I think that the strength is in um, 
And how can we say it? How can we turn that around? Because if the strength is something that's unstable within a relationship, if there's insecurity in a relationship, which is what the Four of Wands is in the reverse, then maybe this is something you could build on. But we'll see. Let's have a look at why this person... I'm going to get the Hanson Roberts uh, deck out now, Leo, and we're going to have a look at uh, this person a little bit more in depth, the situation a little bit more in depth with the, with the clarifiers. So uh, let's have a look. So... Why is this person that Leo is thinking about showing us the four of coins in the reverse in two cards? Why is this person showing us the four of coins in the reverse? Show me. So there's a queen of wands and that's you. So queen of wands would be a Leo. Leo or Aries is usually representative of a queen of wands. And the six of swords. I think it's because you've moved on. So I'm seeing a queen of wands that's moved on. We've got the six of swords showing here. So how I do tarot a lot of the time, I look at the two cards and I make a sentence. So there's a queen of wands here and the six of swords is all about moving on. So I think that the queen of wands, I think you guys have moved on. And that's why this person recognizes that you've moved on. And now suddenly that's why this person's open. This is why this person's saying, oh, I want to be with you now, Leo, because you've moved on. So this person can't bear the thought that you're actually getting on your, with your life without them. Because if it had been that, yeah, if the, if it had been the situation is the Queen of Rods hasn't moved on, you'd have probably found that this was in the upright. The Four of Coins would have been like this. Okay, because they, they feel that they're at an advantage with that Four of Coins. They hold all the cards. But in the reverse, they're saying, right, I'm ready now. I'm open. I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to open up to you because you've moved on. In other words, you props, a lot of you guys watching this probably don't give a shit anymore. And this person's like, oh, fuck, Leo doesn't give a shit. So, you know, I better, run, I better, I better get in there quick. What if they meet someone else? This person looks so far just looking at that like they want their cake and they want to eat it. Uh, why is this person's attributes of Three of Coins reversed? Why is this person's attributes the three of coins in the reverse? Show me in two cards. See if we can make it. So nine of wands. Nine of wands shows agitation. It shows nervousness. It shows worry with the nine of rods energy showing there. And the six of cups. I feel that this person is still very much uh, affected by the past. Because the Six of Cups is about the past and also relationships. And the Nine of Rods is somebody who feels very agitated. They feel they're on the precipice of something. I think that this person's agitated. I feel that they're still very much affected with this Nine of Rods by the past. And this is why... But their attributes are the Three of Coins in the reverse. Maybe they're not doing any sort of internet dating. Maybe they're not looking around online, which Three of Coins can be. Maybe they're not doing a lot of socialising. Three of Coins in the upright can be about socialising with others. So maybe this person's not doing much of that type of thing. Because I think that they're very affected by the past and the past must be you Leo because right here they're ready and they're open but it's only because you've moved on um, their flaws are the eight of wands in the reverse why is this person's flaws the eight of wands in the reverse in two cards because the knight of cups so this is an inviting to love this is an invitation oh my god you'll never guess what showed up fucking hell look eight of wands reversed the same freaking card Leo showed up as a clarifier. I, oh my God. This happened with another, I think it happened with a couple of signs as well, where the cards, this is what, this is the power of tarot. The same card showed up and I didn't think there were any reversals in this small deck. I haven't put anything in there. Oh my God. It's the same card. Okay. I think that they're slow to offer. I think that they're slow to move forward. I think that they take their time because you put the two words together. So the Eight of Wands is slow. It's slow to take action on this. So this is the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is inviting someone to love. Okay, but they may not see it through with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, but this might take time. All right, so I think that with the Eight of Wands, I'm trying to piece the sentence together because the Eight of Wands in the reverse suggests delays. It might be that they delay doing this. Because the, uh, they're this, they're, they're, I think they're delaying expressing their feelings too. Because the Eight of Wands in the reverse also represents a lack of ex self-expression as well. So, the Eight I mean, the Eight of Wands is difficult really. Because the, the, the way that I do tarot, I'm very analytical. So, I'll look at every single damn meaning on a card. Every meaning I will look at in a card. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. And I feel that with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, I think what's happening is, is that they are lazy. They're not, they show to me signs of not following through. And I think it's because offering love here, they're not following through with it. The Eight, the eight of Wands in the reverse. 
Okay, this is uh, about blocking things out. It might be that they're blocking out having to do this, the Knight of uh, Cups. They're blocking out having to truly come forward. Okay, having to truly express themselves. I think they're blocking this out. I think that there is an emotional block as well, because Eight of Wands in the reverse represents a blockage, uh, an energy block. And the Knight of Cups is all about expressing their your emotions. So I think that there is a blockage in terms of them expressing how they truly feel. I think they have they find it difficult to express how they feel. I think this person does have feelings for you, Leo, but they have a problem expressing it. I'm going to see why they've got a problem expressing their feelings. Why does this person have a problem? Why have they got blocked emotions? Why do they have a problem expressing? Why are they blocked in terms of expressing their feelings to Leo? Show me. Well, because of the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords references, uh, it could be that they've got a problem expressing their feelings. Number one with the Knight of Swords, when it shows up in a love reading, Leo, this can be somebody who wants to improve a relationship. So you get the Knight of Swords and somebody wants to move to the next level. Maybe they're afraid of moving to the next level with that Knight of Swords. It might be that with the Knight of Swords, because knight the Knights don't stop. So Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords... Uh, but the, both those cards indicate the word fast so it's very fast moving energy it might be that there's been drama in the relationship Knight of Swords is all about drama it might be something to do with a Gemini person Leo it might be that this person's got anger issues or drama issues going on it might be that the Knight of Swords is all about change so it might be they've got a problem expressing their feelings because this would, inv this, would uh, this would indicate that there would need to be some form of a change with that Knight of Swords energy and maybe they're reluctant to do that at this time there'd have to be a rapid change like a 360 degree change in what they've done before um the knight of swords it might be indicating why they seem to be blocked emotionally that they're just passing through because knight of swords and knight of wands can show energies where people get overly excited but they don't sustain that excitement they're not pentacle cards they're not earth cards so there's no kind of gradual build up to anything with these energies showing here okay and you've got an ace of wands it might be that they're pursuing sex for example with the ace of wands so it might be that this person is blocked emotionally because with the knight of swords it's all about pursuing and the ace of wands is about excitement and sex it might be this person's just pursuing sex or they're just pursuing excitement so this person is open to you because you seem to have moved on and they don't like that okay and I think their attributes are, is with the three of coins in the reverse, they're not really socialising or they're not really putting themselves out there because I think that they're still very drawn with that Knight of Rods. They're still very agitated with that Knight of Rods about the past, about the past relationship with you, which is why they're open now because you've suddenly said, you know, I'm not holding on to the past and I'm not waiting for you anymore, Leo. I've moved on. And suddenly they're like, oh, hang on, hang on. No, I am interested. But when it comes to it, they don't do this. So Eight of Wands is all about progress. It's all about um, it's all about changing energy. So when you get an Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands is about growth. Okay. So uh, this card would suggest in the reverse, there's no growth and there's no movement and there's no change. And this is their flaw. They say a lot because they think back to the past and they think shit. It's almost like I'm looking at somebody who's quite happy to fuck you over. But then when you look like you've gone and you look like you've walked out and you look like you're out the door, suddenly they want to come back. Suddenly when they think that Leo is no longer interested, they want to come back. But the flaws are they don't follow through with that eight of wands in the reverse because expressing love, they've got, a men they've got an emotional blockage going on here. And I think it's because really what this person is doing, if you look at the two cards now swords and uh fire energy air energy and fire energy is the most furthest from the earth energy in the tarot so it's transient energy so this if look at the how fast both cards are look how en how energetic the knight of swords is an energetic card rushing 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 the ace of wands is all about excitement rebirth new birth growth uh sex excitement all of that type of thing and this person is pursuing that ace of wands i might be pursuing a one night stand for example with the ace of wands or there might be because ace of wands can be you know a short term fling this can be a fling maybe they're pursuing just a fling or maybe this is a fling for them for you know they're just pursuing something that looks like it has raw potential but they've not really thought it through so i think that you're dealing with somebody who's not particularly reliable when i look at those areas there uh they see you as the five of swords in the reverse why why does this person see leo as the five of swords in the reverse and feel the five of swords in the reverse for leo in two cards three of swords that's heartbreak and severance 
Okay, so I'm seeing the um, separation in terms of a commitment with the Hierophant because Three of Swords is all about separation and the Hierophant is about a commitment. So I think that they feel that... Um, I feel that... And also, uh, if you think about it as well, the Hierophant is all about our inner guidance system. So this is all about uh, what we hold to be true to ourselves. This is all about, all about our own self-beliefs. So it could be that maybe the separation in this relationship has brought about a certain belief <coughs> Excuse me, with that Hierophant energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, something like that. But I think it may, in the main, this is about there's been separation in this commitment, okay? And I feel that this person has wanted to communicate with that page of rods energy, that they've been really sad the way that things have happened. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think that what's happened is, is that this person sees you as the five of swords in the reverse. Uh, excuse me, guys, I'm just going to get some water. Just bear with me. <coughs> Sorry, my throat was really dry there. Okay, so what I think is happening here is that this person sees you as the Five of Swords. I think that they see you as... I think that because you seem to have moved on, Leo, I think that what they're seeing here is they've seen that you've overcome this situation. They see that you've regained your confidence with that Five of Swords energy. Because I think that there has been a separation in a marriage or a commitment between you and this individual. And now this person wants to shout out to you. The Page of Wands means... Can you see how the tarot is interacting? This guy's calling out to this person. Can you see? Look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. I love the tarot. I love the way that the cards look. When they're interacting, it's something to see, isn't it? Look how they're calling out to them and they're saying, hey, you okay? You all right? They want to check that you're all right. They want to call out to you. They want to speak to you and say, hey, you okay? But also, it's they see you as, and also with that tarot interaction, what I think I'm seeing here, Leo, is that this person with the five of swords in the reverse, they see you as somebody who's regained your confidence. Because though there's been a separation in this commitment or this marriage, okay, they want to still check. Five page of rods. Page of rods says check talk they want to talk they want to communicate with that page of rods okay they want to ask you about you know how you're getting on with the phone i want to see these two cards what is he saying to him because what i'm seeing is this page of rods screaming out to the four of cups it's like they're offering so they're off making you an offer through the voice but you're saying no i think it's that they see that i think it's that they actually feel that if they were to ask you something that you would say no because if you look at the page of rods look at where the cup is as well the page of rods is saying something here leo but the four of cups person there's a cup being held out to this person this person said i don't want it so I feel that this, they're saying to you, will you take me back? Will you, you know, they're offering you the cup. They're actually vocalising and saying, will you take me back? Can we do something? And you're kind of like, I'm not interested. So that's why they see you as a five of swords. They see you as something in the reverse. They see you as somebody who's no longer upset. Because they know that though there's been severance in this commitment, that you're getting on okay. And they want to say, do you want to do something now? Look how they're opening up. This, it kind of ties in. This person here is opening up because you've moved on, Leo. And here, in how they see you, they see you as okay. They, because you've moved on, they see you as you're regaining your confidence. Because there was severance in this relationship, in this commitment. And now they want to come back. Now they're with the page of ones, they're shouting out to you, would you like to do something now? And you're like, no. How they feel about you is they want to come out of conflict. Five of swords in the reverse is the same as two of swords in the reverse, actually. Both cards represent truth. Interesting. How interesting is that? That's amazing. So they see you as uh, five of swords in the reverse, that you've regained your confidence. But how do they feel about you? They want a truce. This person wants a truce. Oh, my God. This person wants a truce, and you want a truce. Both parties, I think, want a truce, because two of swords in the reverse is truce, five of swords in the reverse is truce. So they feel that they want a truce with you. And that's why you see them as the two of swords have made a definitive decision, because they want a truce with you. If this is resonating with any of you guys, I think this person would have spoken to you lately. They would have spoken to you, you would have spoken to them, and you would have agreed on some truce. They want a truce with you, because even though there's been separation in this relationship, they want to come back with an offer and say, look, do you want to do something? 
They want to do, they want to come back and say, do you want to do something? They see you as wanting a truce. They see you, though, as regaining your confidence, and they want a truce with you. Now, you see them as the two of swords in the reverse and feel for them the two of swords in the reverse. And why does Leo see this person as the two of swords in the reverse, and why do they feel the two of swords in the reverse for this individual? The lovers. So that is a very strong union here. Okay, because the lovers has been burdened. The lovers is a uh, partnership, and this is the Ten of Wands, the burden. There's been a burden in the relationship. So, uh, well, now we look at this differently. This isn't you wanting a truce, is it, Leo? This isn't you wanting a truce at all. Um, what you could do, I mean, you might see them as the Two of Swords in the reverse. You might see them as suppressing or holding back from you. Because the relationship came with a great deal of burdens. You feel the Two of Swords in the reverse for them. I think that you've, you're uh, somewhere along. So this is why the Two of Swords is a very difficult card. It's one of those cards that just has a variety of meanings. And one of the reading meanings can be, well, I'm suppressing stuff. I am suppressing a lot of things. Because there's been burdens. Maybe there's a decision here. Because there's been burdens. Interesting. I don't really know which way to read that, whether to say that there's been a decision made because the relationship had burdens, or whether somebody shut down because the relationship had burdens. Not quite sure about that area, because it's so multifaceted in its meanings. Um, the strength in this relationship is the Four of Wands in the reverse, Leo. Why is the strength in this relationship the Four of Wands in the reverse? Show me in two cards. Three of Wands. This is all about turning your back on the past and looking to the future requires hard work because the the future looking to the future requires hard work and effort so i think that the best thing is in a way with this four of wands in the reverse the strength is in not being with this individual because with the three of wands in the future you would need to put a lot of hard work in the three of wands can often say well in the future in the future and this person is looking on that three of wands But they've also got their back turned to the Eight of one, eight of Cups as well. There's, they've got their back turned. They're looking to the future. So they're turning their back on hard work. Actually, if that Three of Wands had been facing into the Eight of Pentacles, I might have read that differently. But I think that because the back is turned to the Eight of Pentacles, I think that it is better that you guys are not together, if you're not together with this person, or that there is... Um, some form. I think it's better that there, this relationship isn't rock solid, really, to be perfectly honest with you, because I think that somebody doesn't want to put the work in. The Three of Wands has got its back turned to the Eight of Coins. So I think that because the Three of, and the three of Wands is when you get this card, this is somebody who's turned their back on something. So wherever that back is, often the person has turned their back on it. And wherever the future is, they're looking to the future. I, I just want to see where, that, where the Three of Wands is looking. Where is the Three of Wands looking? What is the Three of Wands looking towards? Okay, so this person might be, this might be this person here. This person might be looking to a high priestess. It's either that this person's looking to being on their own, because high priestesses can show it when you want to be on your own, when you want to be distant from love, or it can be another person. It's either, and I think it's this person here, or this is you. I think this is you. I think that you're looking to be on your own, Leo, for some of you guys, or maybe you're looking at something else or someone else here, but you're turning your back at having to put all the hard work in. I want to see why you're turning your back on having to put all of the hard work in. I think this is you, Leo, this Three of Wands character. You might also be looking at somebody who does nothing because, you know, the hard work that they have to put in. But I want to see why is the um, why is the uh, Three of Wands turning its back on the Eight of Pentacles showing here. There you go, because of the Seven of Wands. So I feel that this is better that you're not with this individual, Leo, because I feel that somebody is not focused on putting hard work in. And I think they're not putting focused on putting the hard work in because every time they put the hard work in, you get the seven of rods. It's either that this person doesn't really want to put the hard work in because they're always rejecting you. So every time you say, let's do this, as in these areas here where they seem not to be able to deliver, they seem to block you out. Or this is you saying, I don't want to put any more hard work into this because this person's always blocking me. They're always blocking me. And it kind of says it here, where they're not putting the effort in. They say they want to put the effort in, but it's only because you've turned your back on them. That's why they want, they're fronting up to stuff now. But when it comes down to it, they're not willing to put the hard work in. 
And so you look to the future. Some of you guys, it might be that you're looking to a time where nothing changes. High priestesses can also say there's nothing changes. It's just a very static, samey energy. It's a passive card. So it's, you're looking to... Some of you guys, it might be you on the Three of Wands. I think this is you on the Three of Wands most of all. And what you're looking at, why it's better off that you're not with this individual, is because what you're looking at in the future is a time of nothing. High priestess. Can be a third party with this person, but... I don't think it is. I think that some of you guys are looking at the high priestess and you're saying in the future there's just going to be nothing. This person won't do anything. Some of you guys say, well, I'm looking into the future and I want to be on my own because I'm turning my back on this, putting any more effort into this relationship because every time I put effort into a relationship, I get this. I get this person blocking me every single fucking time. So it's just like I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't and that's why I feel that actually you see this person as a two of swords in the reverse. Uh, I think that you see them as possibly not thinking clearly. I don't know. It's a difficult one to fathom. But I think how you feel about this person is you have decided with this to a sword. I think that you've made a firm decision, some of you Leos. And I think that the feeling for you guys is you feel that you've made a firm decision on them because this relationship was brought too much stress. And that's why it's better, the strengths are that you're not with this person, four of wands in the reverse, because you're just looking to the high priestess. You're saying, you know what, actually what I'm looking at is maybe this person who keeps secrets, high priestess. Or maybe I'm looking at in the future that this nothing will change. It'll, things are just taking too long to change because I'm going to turn my back on putting any hard work and effort into this because every time I do, this person blocks me out. Uh, why are the weaknesses the three of wands in the reverse in this relationship? Why are the weaknesses in this relationship the three of wands in the reverse for Leo? Judgment, which is change, uh, making a big life change, is the judgment energy. The tower. Um, well, the tower, there's two majors here, so this is major energy. Um, the tower represents the word failure, and it represents the word explosion and um, breakthrough. What is the tower about? I'm just going to try and find out what that, what is the tower about? Well, it's interesting. That's a difficult one to work out. There's a King of Swords here. Sometimes this can be a legal person here as well. But I don't think it is that. I mean, there could be something legal going on. Your reading's really hard, actually, because the weakness is the Three of Wands. Nothing ever arrives. Nothing, nothing manifests. Nothing gets done. I think judgment. I think there is a. Re I think there's a recognition. I feel there's a recognition with the judgment card that's brought a breakthrough, and I think it's more of a mental breakthrough. That justice with the King of Swords could bring positive renewal. But that wouldn't make sense if this was the weakness. Maybe this is somebody else you guys are thinking of here. It might be that, you know, you've had an epiphany. I see Judgment and the Tower card often as being the epiphany card. I think you've got an epiphany card. That justice with a King of Swords. I think that this isn't, for some of you guys, this won't be somebody who exists. This will be somebody that you want. Somebody who you feel is the perfect individual. Because a king of swords is somebody who's straight down the line. They're honest. They're fair and they're balanced. So it might be for some of you guys, you've had the epiphany that, you know, you're going to get your justice with somebody who is fair, balanced and rational. And that's where you'll get your happiness. Because I feel that right now, this person keeps letting you down. And it might be that you're saying, well, you know, the weakness is this because, you know, I have the epiphany that what I want is somebody who is fair and honest. Maybe there's somebody else in some of you guys' life at the moment. And why is the chariot reverse the overall analysis of this relationship in two cards? Why is the chariot reverse the overall analysis and outcome in two cards for Leo? Oh, we didn't do the hangman there. We do it. Because the queen of pentacles. Oh, two people showing here. This is the culprit, isn't it? I mean, King of Rods can be a Leo individual. So for some of you guys, it might be if you're a Leo male, you're looking at somebody else here. Okay. And there's love, look, Ace of Cups. You've got two court cards and you've got a love card there. So two people in love here. Something cannot move forward. 
it could be that this person's in love with somebody else. The overall analysis is that somebody's in this. This is a this is really awkward reading. It's weird. It is weird. I think that this person, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, female, and a King of Rods, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male. Doesn't have to be. Look how he's looking over at her. There's love here with this Ace of Cups energy showing here. There's a loving partnership, I feel, with that Two of Rods, because the Two of Rods is all about partnerships. This is love, loving partnership. Between these two people, there is a loving partnership, and that's why your relationship can't move forward. Because between two people, there is a loving partnership, and this isn't you. This is this person here, in which there has been a partnership. This person looks like they are with somebody else, and they are trying to play you at the same time. That's what it looks like. Maybe some of you guys already have somebody else as well. The potential for a healthy relationship with this person is the hanged man. What is the potential for a healthy relationship with Leo and this individual? The hanged man in two cards. Because the six of pentacles. And six of pentacles can be give and take. But it can also be somebody who's got divided loyalties. The six of coins. I think that this hasn't happened for a long time. Because the, the four of swords is about um, somebody who's taken a break from a situation. There's been a pause. I think that this give and take relationship with the six of coins have been put on hold with the four of swords. And that's why the potential for a healthy relationship is hanging in the balance. Because I think that something hasn't happened in a long time between you and somebody else here. Showing up in the reading. And the overall obstacles to having a healthy relationship are the nine of coins in the reverse. And why are the overall obstacles to Leo and this person having a healthy relationship? Nine of coins reverse, show me. Because the four of wands... And the Page of Swords. See, the Four of Wands and Page of Swords can be about communication in the home. Or communicating about the home. Or communication about marriage. Okay. Um, I think something's been kept under wraps. You've got a Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is things that are not apparent. They're being kept under wraps. It's underneath the radar. So it's almost like communication about marriage or a relationship has been kept. I think that the... the the obstacles is, is that you guys would want a commitment with this person. But I think that they're not telling you that they're doing something with someone else here. That's what I think is happening. Because this is communication in the home. Or this is talk or there's gossip in the home about somebody. There's gossip in the home about the Seven of Swords. Somebody who's being deceptive or not being honest with that Seven of Swords. Somebody's being deceptive in a relationship. Just pulled another card, the Two of Cups. I think there's gossip in the home. That somebody's being, you know, sneaking around in another relationship or being deceptive in the, in, the, in a in a relationship here. Your obstacle is getting a commitment. Nine of coins in the reverse. Because I think that there there is communication happening in here already in a relationship, and somebody's being deceptive with that two of cups. They're being deceptive with somebody else, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was this other person. Because I think what's happening is you guys can't move forward. Because this person here, this might be a fellow fire sign individual for you, Leos. Or it just could be a Cancerian with that King of Rods. It could be anyone. But I think that this person is looking at someone else. Look at the Tower interaction. This guy here is looking straight at that Queen. And there is love. There's a loving partnership here. And there's love which possibly looks like it could go further with the two of wands. It looks like it has the potential to move forward. So I feel that this person is possibly seeing. But for some reason, they're still on your ass. For some reason, they want their... This is what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. I just felt that this person had their cake and wants to eat it. They look like they've got somebody else. And they look like they're trying to communicate with you. And they're trying to say, do you want to do something here? It looks like they want to come out of conflict. Their feeling is, I want to come out of conflict. Because Leo's moved on. Leo's okay. And why is that? Severance in a commitment has made this person want to reach out to you. They want to call out to you. They want to make an offer to you. Because they think that, you know, maybe, just maybe, there's still some form of a chance here. But you, your feelings on, well, I'm resolute. I've made a decision. Too much drama in this relationship. Too many struggles. You've made your decision on it, Leo. Okay. I think that, and this showing us the three of coins in the reverse is interesting. Because I don't feel that they're fully a part of. I think their attributes are, they're not fully a part of something here. Because I think that they're still anxious and they're still kind of... In, in a very heated state, I feel, with that Nine of Rods about the past, about you. So we're going to go back to the beginning of the reading, okay? We're going to go back to the beginning of the reading and tie this together. This was the how does he or she feel about you reading. I think that this person, they are open to you still. 
four of coins in the reverse, but I think it's because you've moved on, and they don't like the fact that you've moved on. Their attributes are showing that they're not fully fledged in something else, I feel, with this three of coins in the reverse, because I think that they're still agitated by the past, the six of cups, or it might be that they're still kind of agitated if you've got children with this person by the children. They're still kind of a little bit worried, a little bit nervous about the kids, that type of thing. The problem with this person is, is that whenever they say something, they don't front up to it, the eight of wands in the reverse. They don't push it. They don't move it forward. They'll say something, but I think that they break promises. And I think it's because they find it difficult. They can't express. There is an emotional block here. They can't express their feelings freely. Expression of feelings is not coming freely. It's not free eight of wands in the upright. It's all about freedom and, and letting things fly and go. But in the reverse, this person cannot express how they're feeling. They don't. And it might be because what they're pursuing here is just a bit of fun. I don't think that this person's serious. I think that they feel for you that you are right now in a place of strength, five of swords in the reverse, because though there's been a, there's been a breakup of a commitment here. So they feel that you've kind of gotten over it with the five of swords in the reverse. And I feel that's why their feelings for you is that they want a truce, because because though there's been a breakup in your commitment, in your marriage, whatever it is, they still want to contact you and they still want to offer something to you and say, you all right, how are you doing? But I think it's for their own ego because they don't like the idea of you moving on. I think, Leo, they'd rather see you in a state of feeling pissed off about the whole thing rather than completely let it go. You've made your mind up about this individual, two of ones in the two of swords in the reverse. You have made your mind up because you know that within this relationship there were too many struggles with the ten of rods. The potential for this help, uh, the strength of this relationship is that you're apart. Because what you're looking at, you guys might be looking at that this person's got another individual. And putting effort into this relationship will come with rejection anyway. For some of you guys, you'll look to the future and you'll say, nothing will change with the High Priestess. Nothing is going to change here. This person is still going to be doing what they've always done with that High Priestess showing there. And therefore, putting effort in, no point. Seven of Wands, I might as well forget it because I'll get nothing back for it anyway. Because the flaws are the three of wands in a reverse. This person doesn't front up. They say stuff, but they don't front up to it, Leo. And that's because of judgment. So this is about an epiphany here. That justice with a king of rods has brought... I think that this king of rods, swords... For some reason, I think this king of swords is showing as this page of queen of pentacles and possibly high priestess. I think they're one in the same person. I think this person doesn't deliver to you because they've actually got what they want with somebody else. They say stuff to you because they like to play you. And they like to, if they're narcissistic, they like to still know that you're interested and that they can still dangle you on a, on a, on a, on a string. But they've all actually got somebody else there. And therefore, I feel that the potential for a healthy relationship, well, it hangs in the balance. Because I think that a time of giving and sharing, a time of time of receptivity with that six of coin, put coins, I think it's over. I think it's been over. I think it's been on hold for a long time with that four of swords. And therefore, the, the overall analysis of this relationship, um, Leo, is it can't move forward, chariot in the reverse. Because I think this person who is the king of rods, this person might be the queen of pentacles or the king of rods, depends on who they are. But this person is with somebody else. And I think that there is love here with the Ace of Cups. And I think that this is developing with that Two of Rods. I think it's either a loving partnership or this love is developing. Slowly, it's at the start, because the Two of Rods is a start card, but it's slowly developing with somebody else. And this person knows this, which is why they're not delivering to you. That's what I think is going on here. But yet they're still down, trying to dangle the carrot. And the obstacle to you having a healthy relationship with this person, while well, one of you, this person... And it might also be that this person is in a commitment. So this nine of coins in the reverse might be, well, the obstacle is that this person's in a commitment. Okay? Because there's been communication or gossip in the home that this person's been secretly, the seven of swords, seeing somebody else. They've been secretly deceiving you. All right? So this could also be that maybe you would have liked a commitment with this individual, nine of coins in the reverse. But, but uh, that's the obstacle because it could be that there's been gossip, talk within the home, talk of marriage as well, communication. Also, the four of swords is socialising and communication. And this person may be being deceptive about seeing other people or being in a relationship with somebody else. I think there's somebody else that this person's seeing, but I think that they're trying to play you at the same time. This is why I say I feel that this person's trying to have their cake and eat it at the same time. They're with somebody else, they're seeing somebody else, it's developing, but they're still holding on to you. This person looks like a narcissist, sorry guys, but I just feel that they are. I think that they're still, they're playing the rounds with you, but they've got somebody else at the same time, and I think it's for their own self-gratification. Let's get the advice on this reading. Um, Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have 
It says that you attract romance, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You will attract in the right person. If this resonates with you, you will attract in the right person. Anything else you've got to say to Leo on this reading? Yeah, there you go. Came out deception. It says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship you're going to attract in the right love but this whoever this individual if is, is if it resonates with you does not going to resonate with everyone which is why i don't ever expect on my readings to get high thumbs up a lot of thumbs up because they're very specific but i feel that you know you will attract new love in if you can just stay in the moment don't look to the future with this idiot whoever this idiot is they're playing you they've got somebody else and they're trying to play you at the same time that's why the card showed up he's telling you there's a deception this person's wearing a false mask they're not true. They're trying to dangle a carrot with you. And you know what pisses me most off when I look at these cards? What I'm seeing is somebody here who thinks it's okay. It's almost like they're just having a laugh. It's almost like they're just having a laugh and they're not taking it seriously. But they're not looking at how they could potentially damage and hurt you or the other person in the mix. Which is what I don't like. And the angel answers. Let's have a look at what the advice is from the angel answers. Universe Spirit, what is the advice from the Angel Answers for Leo on this reading? What is the advice for Leo on this reading from the Angel Answers? Show me. It's telling you to reconsider. And I think that if any of you guys are considering whoever this person is, just know that there is a deception here. And you will attract in the right love. But this person's deceiving you. And you possibly, if you're considering this person, then you're going to need to reconsider it. All right, that's your reading, guys. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. And have a great day. Check out your singles reading as well, Leo. Take care. Bye-bye.